Uh, it's Steve's birthday, everybody. and uh, Of course it is. How could you not see that? And, Sam, I just want to, you know, uh, 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 what? I want to... Uh, 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 congratulate you on uh, the fine uh, decorating. Well, commend job. him. Yeah, commend you on. He the has fine done an amazing job. Thank you. I just it's, wanted to, you know, make sure we were all celebrating today. It's yeah. a big day. It, is it? We can't, we can't even do that right. What do you mean? The email went out yesterday that uh, it's Steve's birthday today. Yeah. And Sam, uh, of course, had a reply with some sarcastic crap. What? Saying, you know. <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs> basically, he said something like, it's lucky me I got the job of decorating the studio for Steve's birthday tomorrow, which is now today. Yeah. And all morning as we're in the office, like Steve's trying to get into the studio because he's got stuff to set up for the show. And and everyone's like, oh, you can't go in there yet, Steve. So Steve knows something's going on, and he's not stupid. Yeah. It's his yeah. birthday, right? All that. And so I'm thinking, <laughs> what? He said he's not stupid. That one. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not stupid. Know, yeah, what are they doing in there? <laughs> What's going on? So I'm gonna sneak a peek. So when it was time for us to get into the studio, I'm I'm picturing a display. Of epic proportions for yeah. Steve's birthday. Well, has Steve seen this yet? No. No, he has not seen this yet. <laughs> no, it's... Uh... He has not been allowed in the studio, Jimmy. And I'm thinking, wow, they, the boys must have went all out. I mean, yeah. Steve's been with the radio show off and on for 10 years. I so. would think huge amounts of uh, balloons. Oh, yeah. Rubber balloons, mylar. Yeah. Streamers. Mm -hmm. Crepe paper. Sure. Some crepe paper. Uh, some, <laughs> some, some breakfast food. Maybe yeah. some birthday cake. Maybe maybe bagels with candles in them. Something. Something yeah. festive. Big signs and yeah. just a very big a party atmosphere. And the best part is Steve can't go in the studio. And Steve's like all anxious because now he's excited that people are thinking about him. So he's yeah. thinking, I can't wait to see what the guys would do for me yep. to show their appreciation on my fine birthday. Thank God the people on Pal Talk are able to look in uh, and look behind me and just see how festive <laughs> all these decorations are. Uh, they're all over the place. Well, uh, boy, is he going to be disappointed. <laughs> As I look around the uh, studio, first of all, yeah. you have to look around a lot just to try to find something that might be... You have to look in, in one direction. Anywhere else you look, you don't see anything. Right, well... <laughs> oh, no, you got... Well, well we got that? one, two, three. We got four, five. We got five pointy birthday hats for Steve. Yay. We got the worst noisemakers ever that, that are left over. From One the, out of ten work. These are these are left over from New Year's. My noisemaker has asthma. <laughs> oh, I like the little thing. Shuka shuka. These little sparkly, like, yeah. sparkly little hairs on the end. They're really cute, like a little New Year's Eve thing. I think there's three. Oh. There you go. Don't keep blowing the noisemaker. Why? Kenny's going to run in here and go, don't waste it. Yeah. There's plenty of birthdays oh. that we need this for. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to dump out of that line. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. I almost the passed noise out trying to get noise out of this thing. I hear this in my head <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that you're just trying to carry on a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. When, when I... my girlfriend talks, I just see her <laughs> mouth moving out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's that's based on that's based on my bit. What bit? Remember at F. H. Riley's four hundred New York Avenue in the heart of uh, Huntington Village? Oh, bit and, court, bit court. No, he knows because he was. We were both doing it, but after Jimmy's New Year's Eve show, we went to my brother's fine restaurant, and listeners were coming up, and we all had noisemakers for uh, for New Year's. And they were just babbling. I love our listeners. Uh, most of them know that. But I don't love the ones that that t talk about the same crap over and over again. So they're leaning over the table to, to talk about the same crap. And actually, they're were, they were trying to talk to Jimmy because it was his big night after his big New Year's Eve show. Yes. And just as they're leaning in, it's loud in the restaurant to begin with, and they're leaning in to say something to Jimmy. <laughs> well. Great. But it really was loud, and she kept trying to tell me like she enjoyed the show, and he was probably four inches from her face. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, I was actually embarrassed. <laughs> and just per and she's uh, she's thinking I'm just trying to celebrate New Year. She has no idea I'm just waiting for her to open her mouth every single time. Oh, <laughs> Why God. can't I do this? Uh, you can't blow so hard. Anyway, it's a great it's a great bit though. 
Unfortunately, you can only break out this bit uh, during New Year's every year, so no, or, I, or a big birthday party. Yeah, like Yeah, you this. can't just carry a noisemaker around to no. make the bit happen. Yes, That's silly. Huh? I do. You yeah. do. I want to be on the noise. He's like the noisemaker guy on the news. Like they always have the special interest uh, stories. Human yeah, interest. yeah. And I'll be the one that brings joy to a small town by blowing my noisemaker all day in the middle of the town square <laughs> <laughs> till they kill you. Yeah. <laughs> they come to see him blow. <laughs> <laughs> He's the village noisemaker. And he's making noise for the people. <laughs> <laughs> a little boy and his noisemaker. Yes, I'm 40 oh. years old standing there in my own waist. Just <laughs> yeah. So we got the pointy hats, we got some noisemakers, uh, you know, a big celebration for Steve. And then we got a like a sign that's draped that says "Happy Birthday," but you got to be about ten feet from it to read it. Yeah, and it's all, there's only one because it's a bit tiny. We have a huge window here in New York City that overlooks Midtown, and the sign takes up maybe one forty eighth of the window. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing. It, it's so tiny you, you don't even know it says "Happy Birthday." You can't see it. It gets lost in the window, that's, so you can't even really see it. And then, of course, because Steve is uh, bisexual, we got a um, <laughs> what. What are you giving him credit for? <laughs> <laughs> Just figure it was the safe way to say homosexual. I mean, you, know. <laughs> you know, there are some people that because of our shenanigans and antics on this very program, as far as Steve goes, right. actually think Steve is gay. Yeah, lucky him. <laughs> he doesn't have to try as hard. They're, they're all just people. They're all just winking at him. I've talked to people that actually think Steve is gay. And, and he's happy because he's bi, so it, it works <laughs> out for everybody. Who like boys and men. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we got what? A blow-up uh, guy doll with a big you-know-what, and uh, and there you go. And what is, is that a card for Steve? Yeah, it's a card from the staff, and you also didn't notice that that uh, happy birthday sign is a Transformers happy birthday sign. How can he tell? It's no, too I tiny. can't see anything. There's uh, tiny little transformers. So let's uh, bring in Steve. Of course, Steve's not ready to come in because why would he be? That would take some thinking. I'm uploading to Foundry. Right. We just <laughs> talked yes. about it for 20 minutes, and I bet upload, now. Upload, All right, here he is. Steve. Upload, scroll, scroll. Happy birthday. There it is, Steve. This is what the guys get all around. Oh, Isn't that something? This is uh, basically what the guys think of you. This is how yeah. important you are in their brains. Yes, I, I, I realize, you know. I was thinking to myself uh, last night, not to n not to make too much of a big deal out of it, but you know, I've 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 had catered breakfasts come in. I've yeah. sent, I've gotten birthday cakes, personalized birthday cakes for these guys, tranny cakes, you know, whatever works for different people's birthday. And I thought, you know what, I gotta give it to Steve. He does make sure he does the right thing. Yeah, he he, he caters the free breakfast on Fridays every once in a while, and he does take care of these guys, and he takes them out to lunch every once in a while to tell them they're doing a good job. And this is what they do in return for your yeah. birthday. Well, I so, didn't know it was your birthday, honestly. I didn't know. No, I, 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 oh, it's not what, hey, the young Sam? To be fair, there might be uh, some more stuff at the other studio where we didn't have to worry about cleaning up so quickly. <laughs> oh, okay. As in, get the interns to get to <laughs> Wayne Reed and get some crap done yeah, immediately. Yeah, that's exactly what that means. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm not cake? stupid, Sam. Where's Steve's cake? <laughs> Yeah, where's this cake? Well, yeah. ice cream cake uh, places aren't open this early yet. But why didn't we get it yesterday? We do have a you know a fridge here because we wanted it to be a super surprise, so it'll be <laughs> later. <laughs> we can't. Good recovery, Sam. <laughs> we a can't. super surprise. We can't shake Sam. No. And did we get him a little gift from the staff? We think that is. It's free. <laughs> it's a card. And, no, and, 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 it's a, a blow up doll. It's a blow up oh, doll. Yeah. A male. It's a, not even like a tranny one. No, it's, it's a man blow up doll, uh, anatomically correct, yeah. uh, ready for action, and the card is actually resting on it. It looks like Latka Gravis, the hairdo. L what is with the tongue? Ew, that looks like a clam <laughs> coming well, out of uh, the mouth. Is the tongue something you guys had to put in? Or did that no, that's a very special. It's not a cheap blow-up doll. It vibrates. Different parts of it vibrate. Does it? Uh, you can wear the boa yourself. Oh. You can take the boa off. And oh, and off. look, it's got authentic, uh, what they used to call authentic Greek features. <laughs> <laughs> How does it, oh, look, it plugs look into at, something. How do you look use at the... the <laughs> aw, I mean, awful. Can you even say the word? The awful... Let's just say uh, the region is awful. Yeah, the awful hairdo. Let's you know, just say that. That oval, it's an oval of hair. And what yeah. Is, what is... The tongue yeah, what's that, with the tongue? How do you use that if there's a tongue there like that? Yeah, I, I, it looks like it's got... It, it, well, it's the equivalent of a headphone, a ja a headphone jack for an iPod yeah. plugging into its chin. Okay, so uh, it do, is that just supposed to uh, deliver some type of, yeah. um, I don't know, 
uh, the, the, tongue motion. I guess. Because I don't think you could fit anything else in there with that big tongue taking up all the room. Sam, did you have to shop for this? No, well, we, uh, in the, we, we sent out Pat Duffy to make sure we found the very best <laughs> in, uh, oh. yeah. in male dolls. Oh, but that, how come all... blow-up dolls always look like they're singing opera? Whoa! <laughs> Only the, oh! <laughs> only the best male doll for uh, Steve there. Yeah, really. That song right. vibrates. Yeah, let's plug it in. Oh, it does. Vibrate for well, Steve. What do you it, plug it into? Yeah, what do you plug it into? That's what I'm not very clear on. <clears throat> no, Maybe I, you do plug it into an I iPod. No idea. Pat Duffy would have Duffy. to find the instructions or figure it out himself. Maybe you do plug it into an iPod and it, it moves along with whatever with music the, with you're listening the music. to. Oh, wouldn't that be sexy? Mm, no. What? It's uh, got a, a painted mullet, too. Yeah, it's just awful. Uh, Pat... <sighs> Were you embarrassed to buy this thing? Yeah, there was. Uh, it was the worst store ever. Wow. There was buddy booths and it was terrible. Oh, yeah. how long were you in there? <laughs> <laughs> just long how long were you in the buddy booth trying to hide? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just hiding oh. in here. For oh, a this while. place is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Hey. You. hey, you. hey. Hey, There's you. a big battery packet over at the other place that I can go grab it. There's yeah, we want to like like this thing. Oh, it's a special it battery pack, huh? I'll go grab it. Got a hole. Please. I, I hope we all get the news that Steve got electrocuted over the weekend. <laughs> yeah, <thanks. laughs> His hiney is singed. <laughs> <laughs> Figured out a new way to remove hair. We thought it came with a gladiator uniform, too, because there was a gladiator on the box. <laughs> oh, but, but it didn't? There's no. no gladiator False uniform. advertising. You want a gladiator. Did it come with the boa? Or did you, did you have to get no, the boa? No, that boa I purchased separately. Yeah. You had to purchase. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you, Sam. Oh yeah, this is not. This wasn't a free uh, party here. This stuff was purchased by me and Travis and E Rock. Well, thank you, boys. No wonder everybody thinks I'm gay. Wow. I'm getting the feeling that uh, you might be a little disappointed. No, not at all. I love yeah. being no, thought of. Because I remember yeah. the other day on the air, you said that you were queer and incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, let's, yeah. let's theme the party around that. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, well, well I, I, I can't wait until the incompetence shows up. Wait, I just did. <laughs> <laughs> I can't disagree with Sam. Every party needs a little theme. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good theme. A lot of kid parties out there, and they got to, you know, come up with the theme, and we got your theme today. This is the Steve. queer and incompetent birthday. I'm Thank right. you so much, Sam. So the incompetent the part is the fact that there's barely any decorations in the studio, right. because that would be a very incompetent <laughs> thing to do. Yeah. God sake, you got to do some for everything. Nothing. You couldn't get a few effing balloons blown up? Yeah, a couple of balloons, maybe. Balloons. Maybe a couple streamers that we could hang from the stupid ceiling. and then... Yeah, make it look festive. Well, right. I was told there was a birthday. Oh. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the birthday sign you can barely yeah, see. Yeah, the birthday right. sign you can barely see. There's Transformers on that, Steve. Steve oh, loves Transformers. I do love Transformers. That, that should be, do. That would be a Transform happy... Transform into a woman. <laughs> that, happy, <laughs> that happy birthday sign would be hanging at like a dwarf kid's birthday party. Right. Mm -hmm. It's that small. There might uh, be some balloons at the other place. All right. Well, we'll all right. send the interns out to Dwayne Reed to Steve, get balloons. Well, we, here we go. So this is... Uh, uh, Tim's gang that live in his head yeah. wishing Steve a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Steve! <laughs> happy birthday, Steve! Oh. oh, no, it's Steve's birthday! <laughs> happy oh. birthday, Steve! <laughs> it's Steve's birthday! Yes, it's Steve's birthday. Radio for the rest of us. It's Steve's birthday! How old are you now? <laughs> it's Steve's birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! And many more! <laughs> that's right, Cleveland. That's what you've been missing live. <laughs> <laughs> How horrible is that? Uh, Happy birthday! Oh, it's awful. That voice. That's great. It's oh. no redeeming social value. None! No. no. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Uh, well, Anthony, can we do the reset, though? Steve's birthday. Sam was yep. uh, responsible for making sure Steve has a great birthday. Uh, he was supposed to decorate the studio. Uh, he he barely decorated the studio. It's There's, a horrid job of decorating. There's one thing that says happy birthday. It's tiny. There's over no this, banners. Over, over this huge window. No banners. No balloons. No, not one up. balloon. Noisemakers that barely work. And a blow-up male doll, which uh, I'm sure Steve definitely appreciates. Yeah. Uh, but besides that, thing. this uh, birthday sucks, and I, I feel bad for Steve. What's the cake say? It's got to be nice. Steve, would Steve, maybe Steve could read the cake. Yeah, Steve, why don't you read your birthday cake um, from uh, Carvel? Of course, you got to get the ice cream cake. Right. Well, it's a, it's a lovely fudgy the whale cake, and uh, in red icing on the top. Good. Sam, 
No, it's I, illegible. Yeah. First, yeah. Of all, first of all, I got, I got to say they they take Fudgy the whale, which is a brown whale cake. Yeah. Then it's outlined in white cream, and then a face of a whale is put in white cream. Yeah. And then they take red. Yeah. Uh, icing and write something on there, which is completely illegible. Can you read that? No, barely. And it's barely. over his mouth, and it's all written. <laughs> it looks like someone just squished out red icing yeah, on a, just, a stupid looks, Fudgy the Whale it's cake. A, it's a mess of red icing, and since, like all people in this country, I read from left to right, I shall read what it says. Okay. Happy Eteve <laughs> birthday. What? Well, and Steve has perfect diction, so I, I, yes. I, I'm assuming that you you read that perfectly. I read that perfectly. Okay. When you say Dick Shunt, he's never shunned one. Oh. <laughs> Jim Norton will be at the Egg in Albany uh, later today. Sorry, it's a little wordplay. Uh, that was good, though. Wait, let good. me read this thing. Ugh. Happy birthday, but then they put the E T E V E. That's how they spelled Steve? I think somebody must have told Carvel that the theme of today's birthday party is queer and incompetence. So, <laughs> so they played right along. They went ahead and, and uh, instead of putting a message that was uh, somewhat sarcastic on there, which I had instructed them to, they wrote, Happy birthday, Steve, but spell Steve E T E V E. Oh, my God. <laughs> what was the sarcastic message that you were going to have them put on there, Sam? No, uh, it was. Uh, uh, here's to another year of incompetence, cake property, uh, DFL Media, and then I was going to plug a website for you. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny. Thank you. We should put a huge Foundry logo across that <laughs> yes. cake. Foundry the whale. Yeah. <laughs> Foundry the whale. Uh, can we get a picture yes. of the cake up oh, on a radio.com? Oh, damn, Travis. Good wait, one. Wait, I missed it. Why? Wow. Foundry the whale. Travis goes, yeah, that's Steve. Oh, boy. Oh, that was a good one. like the old days. Oh, boy. That I love a piece of that ice cream Huh? It's early. It's a good time to eat ice cream cake. Also, uh, it's got milk in it. we sent Pat Duffy down to get it, and e uh shorted him $14 on the cake, so he had to walk uh, 17 blocks back in the snow holding this cake. <laughs> How do you? How much is a cake that you shorted fourteen dollars? This cake. What do you give? What do you give him? Three dollars. This cake cost fifty-four dollars. Shut up. No, it wow. didn't. Yes. Did it really? Yeah. Don't put it near me, man. That is a no. little fudgy the whale, and it was fifty-four bucks. And it says eat Eve on it. And he didn't even get the name right. It's Why Eve. is it fifty-four dollars? I've bought fudgy the whale cakes for you guys before, and they haven't cost fifty-four dollars. I think you got ripped. No, I didn't get ripped. Like I said, E Rock didn't give Pat Duffy enough money, so if anyone got ripped. Sorry, Iraq. Wait, did did Pat Duffy buy oh. drugs? <laughs> Pat Duffy is uh, that cake cost fifty four dollars? Yeah, I have a receipt if I can prove it. I, well, I believe you. dollars because they wrote Etive on it. Yeah. <laughs> Etive. Well, Eat Carvel. Which Carvel is this? That that uh, that did a great job on the cake. The one in uh, Times Square. Times Square. Times Square. Oh, that's Carvel. Okay. Great job on the cake. That's why it costs so much too. You buy something in Times Square. We were also in a panic yesterday morning because Pat Duffy was calling around all the Carvels who claimed there was a citywide shortage on Fudgy the Whale cakes. Yeah, that was there's a, last night. It's totally fresh. Why isn't that reported on the news that there's a citywide shortage of Fudgy the Whales? I don't know. Oh, please. You know what? Look, let's close the borders. Now it's, <laughs> yeah, now it's affecting our ice cream cakes. <laughs> that I is exactly it. I can't have this anymore. Exactly. Now I'm with everybody. Close the borders. If 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 they can't spell Steve right on a dumb birthday cake, now we obviously have a problem. I remember walking into Carvel as a kid, and uh, there'd be a gentleman there, and he'd go, "Hi, how are you? And what would you like?" And then you tell him. Now, Etive, <laughs> Etive, Etive. We should take. Do you have a picture of that cake? No, we'll get one before Let's we cut it up. Let's take a quick picture and then start eating it because I'm really hungry. I would love some Etive cake. <laughs> like some Etive. Like, you're going to yell at yourself later. This so is where. Are you this off fudgy the whale. Huh? Can't even have to hear it. <laughs> but why'd you eat it? <laughs> no, he doesn't ever say that. You deserve yeah, it. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Just take care. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. That's Kenny's way of saying shut your mouth. <laughs> 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 oh, well, uh, speaking of Steve's birthday. Happy birthday, Steve! Happy birthday, Steve! Oh, oh no, it's Steve's birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday, Steve! <laughs> <laughs> it's Steve's birthday! Yes, it's Steve's birthday. Radio for the rest of us. It's Steve's birthday! How old are you now? <laughs> it's Steve's birthday! Happy birthday to you! And many more! <laughs> oh, yeah. No one's enjoying the Oh, my.
God. I'm enjoying it. I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather listen to Maxwell. <laughs> and prime. Ugh. Happy birthday. Just not funny. <laughs> what a douche. Scumbag. <laughs> really. What a waste of space on the radio. Corey, Jersey, what's going on? Yo, what's up, fellas? Love you guys. Love the show. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, listen, getting pitted is when you pull into a bow and the wave breaks over your head and you're totally inside it and you're like a little pit, like a little olive pit. Uh, so is oh, yeah. getting pitted a good thing? Hell yeah, it's a good thing, man. We, of course. Can I, tell, oh, I actually explained it already. All right, yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy's a big surfer, dude. You didn't, yeah. You don't know that about Jimmy. Jimmy. Hey, what's up? All right, thank you for the uh, definition of pitted. But the park is still flooded, so you'll see kids yeah. out there again. Some of those here. kids today will be my co It's just ago. like, <laughs> dude, you get the best barrels ever, dude. Just like you pull in and you just get spit right out of them. And you just drop in and just smack the lip. Whoop, <laughs> drop down, snap, <laughs> ah! and then after that, you just drop in, <laughs> just ride the barrel and get pitted. So pitted like that. <laughs> Brother. I know it's an old video. Uh, How we, old is it? it it's, uh, I was told about this like over the summer or something, but we're going to get the video up on onaradio.com as part of Stephen S. from Bayshore's Rundown. Uh, and punt. <laughs> You're bringing us back with Pendulum from Foundry oh. Music. Steve's old band that turned into a website. Crank it up. I got to hear this. All right, crank it. Yeah. yeah. This is Steve C's old band. Yeah. Where's the vocals? I want to hear Steve C. Yeah, Steve C on vocals, by the way, whose birthday it is today. Coming back. No? Wouldn't this be great on uh, Guitar Hero? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Guitar Zero. <laughs> Geez, all right, enough with that with the riff. Well, they, they they thought the riff was great. Oh, it's a rejoiner? Oh, it's a rejoiner, okay. No wonder. <laughs> he's I the, thought maybe Steve was off eating during that. He's the only... Hey, did you see him in that band? He was huge. Come yeah. on. And, and he, he wore here. the Lamb Bryant uh, dresses, let's not yeah. forget. Hey, uh, Foundry Music is the only band in the history of rock and roll that mm -hmm. turned into a website. Yeah. Find me another band that turned into a website oh and God. stopped playing music. You ever uh, hear uh, some old Google? I love to, uh, popping in some old Google. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I saw Sabbath in, in like the. the